Hi guys, it's Beverly. I wanted to come on here and show you some finished objects and works in progress. First one, this pair of socks got toes. I'm so excited. These are finally done. These are kind of shorty socks. And thanks to Froggy One and Knitting, she told me what kind of yarn this was. It is a Bernat sock. S-O-X sock yarn in camouflage and I was able to locate these yarn for this and these socks are finished and I have enough yarn um, to make another pair because I really like this fabric how it turns out so those socks are done um, I got my pocket shawl done this is that teal color with the pockets and I got two pockets and it came out so nice this is the Marley Bird to November 2020 turkey trot um, mystery crochet long it came out just beautiful and I've been linking it linking it at the bottom of the videos for you guys to do the pattern okay next this blanket pattern this is just a stroller size blanket but you guys look at this it is absolutely gorgeous um it this one is made out of red heart super saver and it's a yellow color i don't have the ball band but this pattern um, even though it's Red Heart, it came out pretty soft. It hasn't been washed yet. One of my friends made this blanket, and she just used it for a throw blanket when you're traveling, and it was in the back seat of her car when we went somewhere, and I just thought it was a wonderful pattern. Now, where she got it was she got it out of a crochet book that has multiple kinds of patterns in it. And it's one of those deals where you learn all the different stitches. You make these squares and you sew them all together and you make an afghan. And so this particular square, we just increased it enough to make it a blanket. And I wanted to do this to get rid of the skein of yarn because I already make a blanket, blanket out of this yarn and um, a sweater and a hat and maybe some booties already. So I just wanted to use up the final skeins that I had purchased. And so this just set, is calling it number 15 Afghan Square. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial on this um, blanket. You could make it a square if you're doing multiple squares, or you could make it into a blanket like this. But it's just a, a beautiful pattern, and it's a I would say it's a vintage pattern. And um, I personally hadn't seen it, and I was just... I just loved it so I made a blanket and I'm going to do a tutorial on that now this is a work in progress and this is the Kingman shawl and you can see I finished the one color and then I went into the mixed and I'm using the bobbin the premier bobbin and so I had started out with the light color on the top and the mixed or variegated or what you know in the next section I'm finished with that and then I'll be finishing the shawl off with this color so that's the work in progress I have another work in progress and this is the Ophelia talks mystery crochet along there's 16 squares and this is the first week and what we had to do was create these different colored squares and then border and join them 
And what happened was, the reason I got involved in this one is Ophelia is from England, or United Kingdom, and she always uses Stylecraft DK yarn, and I've always wanted to try it. So this kind of was a reason to try the yarn. So I got this big bag of yarn, which is 14 skeins of all these beautiful colors. And then you also got, which is kind of hard to see, <laughs> I mean, I should take it out, but there's the sign for the mystery cow. And then there was a special item. And then you've got a little uh, thing with her logo on it. And it all came in this mesh bag. And she shipped it from the United Kingdom. Uh, the first day of the cow was Friday, April 23rd, when she released this. And it's a six-week cow. So I'll be showing you my progress. I kind of have a guess as to what it is, but I guess I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> I guess we'll find out if I was right. And of course, I will tell you if I was wrong or if I was right. So that's also a work in progress. And I love the Stylecraft uh, Special DK yarn. It's a lightweight number three. I'm using a G hook, which is a 4.50 or 4. 0.25 but it's a G and it's real easy to work with and um, I'm learning some new techniques from her as well now I wanted to speak a few minutes about my newest um, series it's going to be called the newbie crochet and we're going to be making different projects right now I'm working on the first project that's uh, the tutorial. The tutorials are going to be, the first one is the cr double crochet hat. Now, the my philosophy on this, or my idea on this, is you may know the basic stitches, but now what? So, I have been teaching some girls in my crochet club that are new, and I had them start out with a hat, and then they went to a uh, granny square and so on. They went to a granny square blanket and then they went to a granny square straight across and then they went to a corner to corner. And in an upcoming video, you will see where I featured one of my newer crochet uh, friends Leanne, um, it's a, uh, a wrap, and she did the ties and the little um, pom-poms on it. She did such a great job, and it's going to be featured in my Crochet Club Showcase video. I believe it's coming out on either April 30th or May 5th, because I'm trying to scatter some of my special videos. So... Anyway, I wanted to catch up on what I'm doing now, my finished objects. The ponchos, um, the shawl is coming along, and um, I'm just happy crocheting. Thanks, guys. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Bye.